Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Molly Pope Art. This is a peony painting tutorial, which goes along pretty much with the peony bud painting tutorial, if you'd like to look at that video also. This uh, peony is painted using only six colors and three brushes. I will add those colors and the brushes in the description to this video. To begin painting your peony, um, you're going to use permanent red and you're going to mix that with a little bit of a fluorescent red and a little bit of yellow because I wanted to mix up a pink. The fluorescent adds a really beautiful glow to the paint um, and you see that glow a lot of times in real flowers. Um, and I am, I recommend you, um, if you're painting this type of flower, to make it a little bit more manageable and a little bit more easy to understand, you want to break up your flowers into little sections. So you would, um, for this peony, I started along the back row, um, and I used the permanent red down in the creases of the flower petals down where they would be shadowed. I used that permanent red mixed with the fluorescent red and the white. And you want to have those deepest areas um, down in your shadow areas. And then coming out of the petals um, up towards where they would be, uh, the sunlight would be reaching them is the best way I can describe that. You want to add a little bit more white to kind of lighten and brighten those um, petals as you come up out of the middle of the flower where it would be in deepest shadow. So you can see I started along the back row of this peony and then I kind of worked in little bit of sections and again that just kind of helps you to um, break this down into manageable bite-sized chunks when you're painting. It can be overwhelming to paint a compound flower such as a peony with many many petals so this is how I usually work um, and I work might work in rows I might work in sort of sections to the flowers just again to kind of break that down into more manageable bite-sized chunks. And again, it's just repeating the same process for each section of that flower head. Um, and that is using the deep red mix down towards the center of the flower where that petal would be in shadow. And then as you come out of that area, again, just adding a little bit more white to that mix. Um, and a little bit more of the fluorescent red so that it appears that those petals would then be hitting the sunlight, would be hitting those petals a little bit better is the best way for me to describe it. So a peony has, it's kind of like a bowl-shaped flower, um, meaning, you know, if you look at the overall section of this flower, um, shape of this flower, it would be sort of a bowl shape. So I'm um, adding the petals, um, painting the petals that would be along the lower area, the outside area of this peony, um, and they tend to be uh, wider and a little bit less um, like little fluttery sections to the petals, um, and those are the petals that are towards the bottom of the peony. Um, and you can see they're just wider and flatter in shape, and um, they also would have less shading on them. They'd have more of a highlight color. And to paint those areas on these petals, um, like I'm doing in this part of the video, where the petals have sort of a fold over, you want to make sure that you are... Um, giving those areas that fold up and over the petal lots of bright highlights and the areas that sort of that are in shadow where that petal is folded up and over you want to make sure you add some darker color right next to that sort of so it will sort of show and sh um, tell the viewer that you have a petal there that folds up and over which is basically what you're doing now, to begin the color on the stems, peony stems are really, really bright, beautiful, um, springy green color. So I always try to work from dark to light using acrylics. 
And the mix for that stem is hooker's green mixed with some burnt umber and also added some light olive green into that. I love working with these three colors for my greenery. And I'll vary the mix a lot of times in whatever I'm painting. That same three colors, um, I'll just kind of vary that a little bit. So again, this stem is um, hooker's green mixed with burnt umber and then mixed with the light olive green. You could absolutely eliminate the burnt umber if you don't have it. Um, you can use a little bit of the permanent red mixed in with your hooker's green to shade. Um, it makes a really, gives you really the same kind of effect. Now again, I wanted this stem to be bright, beautiful, um, springy green. So I used a lot of that olive green on the area of the stem where I wanted there to be the appearance of sunlight hitting that stem. So you can just use the light olive green and mix in some titanium white into that mix to get that really bright, beautiful light green. Now the leaves themselves are based with hooker's green mixed with burnt umber. Um, I stayed a little bit lighter on the burnt umber mixed into that green um, just because I wanted, again, the leaves to have a beautiful, um, a little bit lighter green color um, and not go so deep and dark with them. So again, each leaf is just based with this mix um, and you'll let that dry down a little bit as you're working. So here I've added some beautiful veining onto the leaves and I used um, hooker's green mixed with a light olive green and some white. So you can kind of see it where I'm just, um, you can add pencil lines for your veins first. So you have some guidelines if that helps you. And then you're just basically going to follow along your drawing, your pencil lines using um, a size zero liner is what I'm using with, and then you're going to paint over those vein lines with a light olive green mixed with white. And it gives really beautiful veining look on your leaves. You don't have to go into too much detail um, to get some really beautiful effects and some very realistic effects with your veining. So, and you will have to build up colors and build up layers in your painting, whatever it is you are working on. Just know that you will not get one, you will not get beautiful results with just one single pass of your paintbrush. So you just know you need to build up layers in your painting. So now the leaves on peonies have a little bit of red, at least this variety did. Um, and you'll see me add that little tiny bit of that permanent red in the very base of those leaves. So peonies also have two different types of leaves on them. They have the single variety that you see that's up closer to the flower head. And then they also have this sort of three um, leaved version that's all joined together. Um, as what I'm painting right now. So just know that if you'll just vary your shape of your peony leaves, look at your um, reference photo to help you decide where to place those leaves. And again, just finishing off these leaves with the mix of that bright olive green um, mixed with white to really add some bright highlight to the leaves up towards where they connect to the stem to make them appear to be a lot more realistic and maybe where the sun would be hitting them. So now I'm adding the veins on and highlights on that last little leaf. Um, if you have any questions on how to paint your peony, um, drop them in the comment section. I'd love to help you. I do appreciate you spending your time watching my videos. Um, and check back soon for more content. Thank you so much again. Have a great rest of your day.